Good morning, everyone. We're here at City Walk so far. We're doing an early morning entry. The alarm went off this morning and we we're like, shall we just stay in bed? But we pushed ourselves to get out. So we've just arrived. This is the queue so far to get into Ireland. Not so much of a queue at the moment. People are still walking in, but I think the queue will be about where we are. Dying for a drink. We just had some breakfast on the way. Picked up one of those like cheesy croissant bacon and omelette thingy. Dying for a drink. <laughs> Should be a good day today, like weather-wise, after the big storm last night. Oh, so annual pass holders have a separate entrance. This should be good. So we go over the bridge and over to the... Ah, there we go. There's the annual pass signs over there. Well, that's a nice little perk. So we can skip all these lines. Good morning. There'll be two morning. lines at the end there Thank you. This pass holder thing has its benefits. It definitely does. Paying for it, though. <laughs> yeah. Worth it. It is worth it. So what we did is I got the seasonal pass, which is the cheaper one. Scott went for the preferred, because we thought we'd have a higher car and get free parking. Although we're not planning on hiring a car for a while, are we? So, but that was, we bought this back in the pandemic, so we didn't realize the car prices would have shot up. All that took all of 10 seconds. <laughs> Skip those big lines. Yeah, brilliant. So we're probably gonna head over to Hagrid's. Yeah. We can get a double ride on that one each. Um, you know, one in the sidecar, one in the... Yeah, I think a lot of cars are at 7am or whatever time it is. It's, it's, it's daring. So we are currently in the queue for Hagrid's. We've done quite a long queue, went through the show of... Oh, I don't even know what show that was. Poseidon's. Yeah, yeah, Poseidon's area. So there was a sign saying 75 minutes, which is crazy. Like that, I'm totally surprised by that. Yeah, I we weren't, weren't expecting this amount of people. No. Um, and also, another thing to, to note is that my annual pass is a seasonal pass and when I got to about Dr. Seuss area they checked them again and she was like oh your pass isn't valid for early admission I was like oh no and then we both like panicked but I was like no but I'm a hotel guest too so that's something to bear in mind if you're a seasonal pass you can't get early admission unless you're a hotel guest thank god I had that on me <laughs> oh my god Scott was going to blow his lid I mean so far, I would say this isn't worth it. Not getting up that for that time of the Well, no, not really. Not so far. Because 75 minutes is not far off. Well, it was late. Like, it was 90 yesterday, wasn't it? So. Just spotted little dobby footprints in the floor. I don't know how you spotted them. Oh, yeah, they go all the way along there. This queue line is currently 120 minutes plus. Yeah, like it was yesterday. Works the next day. It's cool that they've left this little detail of when it used to be the Dueling Dragons roller coaster. Oh my god, that was so worth the wait. Yeah, we just got Hagrid's, it's so good. I, um, Scott gave me the bike and I just go around this corner and go, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think for me it's the best roller coaster here. Oh, it's amazing. I, ju I just want to ride a bike now. Yeah, it's definitely worth the wait, but. On this occasion, for us, I'm not sure early the early entry was worth it. Maybe in the weekday it would yeah. be really good. Maybe because it's a Sunday, it's particularly bad, but we ended up waiting. Yeah, Not just as long as we would have normally. About but 75 minutes. At least it's not been too hot, that's something, I suppose. Um, maybe it'll make the rest of the day easier because we've done this. We can do Velocicoaster next, which shouldn't be too bad already. Um, yeah, just blast out some of the lesser rides. Yeah. I've got a, a shoe that's rubbing because obviously my, my normal day shoes are soaking wet still from last night. And I went into a shop and I said, excuse me, where can I buy a plaster? And she goes, I'm sorry, I don't understand. I was like, oh yeah, a band-aid. Where can I get a band-aid? She goes, oh, look behind you. And there was like a first aid place. So I popped my head in there. And they're like, hi, how can I help you? And I was like, I just need a band-aid, please. And he gave me four of these massive things. So they were for free as well. Um, they did take my name. So I guess that's so that you don't exploit the service. But they were so lovely in there and we got chatting. Scott was waiting for me outside, not knowing where I was. I'd been in there for like 10 minutes. 
but fantastic service. If you ever need something for first day, they're really lovely in there. That was in the um, um in like. So it's near the Halloween shop. There's lots of little hippie shops near the toilet. Oh, it's just on the other side of the hippie shop. Well, that sucks. Yeah, a lot of people are just like crowding around the front, like in a real emergency. I mean, who knows that it isn't a real emergency? Is what I'm saying. Someone might have set off the, the alarm. Most probably, but if, like the lady was saying, go, go, keep going, keep going. People just waiting to go back on, but like, what if it was a real emergency and there was a proper fire? Like, just go. We're gonna have to reset everything every any case, so we're not gonna get on for another at least half hour. We'll have to try and get on later. It's just running empty at the moment. Yeah, well they're probably trying to get the people that are sat on it off. So are we getting the Hogwarts or are we just walking over? Yeah, let's get the Hogwarts. It's only 10, 10 minutes. Cool. We were going to do Escape from Gringotts but it's saying 70 minutes now. down here and all these people just pointing their cameras at the dragon waiting for it to go off. Could be waiting a while. She has always does this with like ice creams and desserts and stuff. I think I've had enough. She orders it, has two mouthfuls and says I've had enough now, you have the rest. And you know I, I'm not good on ice cream. Universal hammering out the tunes. Copyright. We're gonna get copyright. We're gonna get copyright. Hi, hi, do that funky thing. We've just come off of the uh, Simpsons ride. It was so good. Yeah, it's proper mental, isn't it? Better than I remember. We were sat at the front of our little car, weren't we? And I just got, my neck is Yeah, hurting. mine too, because we were right at the front. You're kind of like looking up like that. Yeah, and obviously it's going back and forth yeah. to your poor neck. <laughs> I really enjoyed it though. I could understand why some people do find it a bit um, disorientating. Yeah. Um, but that was okay for us. I don't find that makes us feel sick right here, and we want to do it all day. No. The little jokes are quite funny, aren't they? Yeah, and there's like little references to Disney World. Like, yeah. Take the mick out of like Pirates of the Caribbean. The pirates, and it's a small world. It's oh, I wondered. Ride. Do you think that they put dinosaurs in the pirates bit because it's old? Like, are they calling it old, or is that just I'm reading too much into that? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I've never done this. No, the name puts me off. Twirl and hurl. Yeah, I'm it's. Not good with spinning. You aren't, are you? That time we did Astro Orbiter at Disney World. To be fair, that probably went so, so bad. No, but neither did, did um, Astro Orbiter. You want to go and answer the phone? You ain't got your straw. <laughs> Brother from another mother. Hello? Still breaking. Yeah. It was Ab Abu. Yeah. And he said uh, about the, the mystery meat, and people ask, why does it taste so good? Yeah. Oh, I forgot what he said. What's Apu's last name? Hapapunam. <laughs> Nahasanapupunam. Mapetalon. Yeah, or something. you're really good at remembering. No, he said. People ask him why the mystery meat tastes so good. Oh, I can't remember. Looks like the weather might be on the turn again. It has turned. It has turned. 
What was it you said? Um, in cars, um, what's he called, the pickup truck? Um, Tomato. Tomato. He goes, stay away from the pistachio ice cream. It has turned. <laughs> but it's actually wasabi. We haven't actually told you guys, but it's our last day today. Boo. Boo. Go home tomorrow. Don't it feel full, that will we? Don't know. Depends if we're doing anything in the morning. Oh, that's a good thing. Um, I wanted to tell you guys that last night we went down to reception to ask about a late checkout. Because obviously we don't fly until five o'clock. We check out at 11 as usually. Um, we're gonna have like maybe three or four hours where we won't know what to do. And it would just be a lot nicer and more relaxing if we could go back to the room, have a shower or just just chill out. Yeah. Um, so I went down and asked about that yesterday and you have to do le late checkout on the day. So you have to go down to reception in the morning and ask if it's available. And I also asked how much that would be and it's complimentary. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's really, really good. Uh, so obviously it's not for everybody. They must only have a certain amount of rooms they can do that for. Um, and I don't know how long late checkout is, but even if it's just two hours. Yeah. So that would be a one o'clock. That would be pretty perfect. Because I think we'll have to leave around one anyway. Yeah, there's not enough time to like come into a park or anything really. Uh, so. And we don't want to get sweaty and... Yeah, just before we travel. Like, yeah. So we'll probably, uh, maybe, we could go to Chili's and have lunch. Yeah. Or... Somewhere near the hotel. Yeah, find somewhere for lunch. We could even go to City Walk for lunch. Like, that's not too bad, is it? Yeah. Um, yeah, we've had such an amazing trip. Yeah, every part of my body hurts. <laughs> it's worth it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like it's from, from Disney, which seems like ages ago. It's just been really good, especially having Disney and then Universal. We've had both, like, best of both worlds, yeah. really. So. But normally, if we came for 14 days, we'd be, like, pushed to do Disney and Universal. Like, yeah. when people come over and say like it is a lot to try and fit in especially if you want to do SeaWorld that's a lot um, but we've done one park per day at Disney and it's worked out really well isn't it? Yep. Yeah, loved it. Just saying we haven't done Transformers but I've just had a look on the phone. 90 minutes. That's right. mental. That's too much for that. Yeah well I'm not gonna wait that for that. I just said to Scott that we've only done once on each ride, like we haven't done any re-rides that I can think of. BT is 15. Probably re-ride that. But I think the other reason that we're not stressing about getting on rides is that we are back in September and we're here for 14 days. We'll be focusing probably more on hard rides then, or something that. Yeah. We do come in a day and do stuff. We do. Uh, I just think, as it's been so long as well, and you just appreciate everything more. No, I don't. It's, you don't have to do ride after ride after ride and just soak up some atmosphere and chill out a bit. Just seen that this Kids Own Pizza company is, well, it looks open. It's closed like the last few days. Just wondering if they do pizza fries. It's worth looking at. Oh, catch it. No, just pizza slices. Pizza slices, but they're $14.99 or $40 for a whole pizza. That, that seems. Seem a lot. A lot. Have to wait till Horror Nights for pizza fries. But we did see it. If you go to Green Eggs and Ham at Islands of Adventure, they do pizza tater tots. So yeah. Like pizza fries, but with tater tots. And they do a veggie version as well. Yep. Sounds, sounds pretty good. Well, it's our oyster. Gonna go and see E.T. again. Nice relaxing ride. I'm gonna listen out there this time. I think I know the bit you mean, but he's not saying that. Isn't he? Welcome, no. everybody. Thank you. Eating. Go to Tiki. Hurry. Welcome home. We've left Universal Studios. It's about 
Ooh, a quarter to one around that time. And uh, we're thinking we need a little rest time before we come back into the park this evening. Island is open till nine. We want to do Velocicoaster for sure. Hopefully get on Hagrid's again. I, I don't mind waiting that wait that we did today. Because when you're on it, it's just like, yeah, it's amazing. So it's worth it. Oh, getting so many electric shocks, me and you. Electrifying. So we've got to pick up some lunch maybe here or back at the hotel. Kind of side. So we've just, just done a little mobile order on the phone uh, for Red Oven Pizza Bakery. It was 15 99 we got um, $1.50 off of the annual pass discount, which is good. So we went for ham, pineapple and jalapeno. So while I was washing my hands, Scott said that um, the lady came over and asked if we wanted any refills. So obviously we paid for the cup. They'll do the first one complimentary, like so that we don't have to go and do it. I mean, the place where we do it is just over there, that way. Um, but she was like to say if you're getting up off the table, would you like any complimentary um, glasses of water? Well, that's really nice, like for a take for a, you know quick service takeaway pizza. That's great. Well, here is our pizza. Looks good. It's not what I imagined it to look like, but it looks nice. These are obviously really thin slices of pineapple. Serrano ham, looks like. Yeah. Cool. And jalapenos. Well, it looks like green pepper, but instead of jalapeno. And we got these um, chili flakes and parmesan cheese here. Jalapeno. Uh, Scott is just sprinkling over some chili flakes. Comes out good, that, doesn't it? Leave one of them at home. So we've only had that tiny little bite, but that is very, very delicious. Scott was trying to ask if they had any ketchup, um, but they don't do condiments, they only do like a tomato sauce, I guess that's what they put on the pizza, or a Caesar sauce, I'm like, okay, don't worry, but the pizzas are very tasty on their own. That was excellent, wasn't it a really good pizza? I highly recommend either lunchtime or dinner time, come in here, like a ho one whole pizza, we shared between us for lunch, so that was plenty for us, wasn't it? Really, really good. Some of the best pizza, like, Ever. <laughs> the dough was really nice. Like the tomato sauce was really flavorful. The ham was salty and the pineapple was fresh. Brilliant. Hi everyone. So we have come back to the room and had a couple of hours rest. We both felt like we needed a reboot and um, we had about a two hour nap, didn't we? Yeah. One o'clock till, wait, no, it must have been three hours. Wow! <laughs> we had quite a lengthy nap and we both needed it. We were, well, I was, I kept putting words in the wrong place. And um, I think I was very, very tired. Obviously we've been four or five hours in the park and up quite early. And obviously we've got nightmare neighbours from hell. <laughs> and they, they were in this afternoon while we were napping. But it didn't matter because we were so tired. We slept through it all. Could hear them all shouting and screaming but it didn't matter. Um, so we've had a little shower now and smelling looking good put sun cream on again because that sun is so strong just been looking out the window and like there's a couple down there that have fallen asleep he's rolled over but he's still out there sleeping she hasn't moved they're gonna be so burnt if they haven't put any cream on they're looking quite red already actually they've got no umbrella out and there was a duck in the swimming pool and we were like narrating his day narrating his holiday weren't we like, have a little dip in the pool and then he got out we were looking for him and he was heading to the sand bar for a drink yeah i reckon he's going to the bar angry orchard yeah it's like nearly five o'clock on our last day and i haven't had any angry orchard yet the hell is going on terrible i'm sure you make up for it so we're heading out now the day is still very beautiful out good weather um they have said uh a storm maybe five or six o'clock um, so we do have the umbrellas with us, just in case, but I think we'll be all right. No blues just yet, hey. Oh, sun back, uh, sun back, back there you are. Have you got the blues yet? Oh, he's brushing his teeth. Yeah. Oh, I don't, I'm just really grateful to have had a great nine days. No, uh, I haven't got the blues yet. No, maybe when we leave later. It's just a traveling home, isn't it? Yeah, everyone dreads traveling home, doesn't they? You wanna see our view? Few clouds about, but mostly blue sky that way. Just loving it. 
We are on the ninth floor, but you can still hear the pool bar through the day. It doesn't bother us. It might it might bother some people. Maybe if you've got kids and you have to take them up to that. It's not loud, loud from up here, but you can you can probably make out a song if it was a pop song. But some of them songs are like remixes, aren't they? So they're hard to yeah. decipher. Don't look at our messy room. <laughs> We've started making a checklist, haven't we, on the phone? Yeah. Like, prior to going to the parks. So, like, we put down <laughs> cup, camera, hat, uh, sanitizer, which, I might just add, the sanitizer stations that are about, which are few and far between, are mostly empty. Yeah. So, bring your own sanitizer and a lot of top-up. Because we've topped ours up five or six times. I'm now out, so I have to go to Wal Walgreens tomorrow and get some more. I haven't noticed a lot of people actually bringing their own or doing it. Like we do it all the time, so don't we? The odd person used the one on the wall. Yeah. It's warm wind, isn't it? So we've just come out of the lobby here and you walk around this path this way and you've got two bus stops. The first one being the Volcano Bay and the next one, <coughs> excuse me, the next one is the Islands of Adventure Universal City Walk bus stop. And they're really, really, really consistent, aren't they? Yeah, we've not waited longer than what? 10 minutes? Yeah, maximum. Yeah, and there's normally one here waiting. So you know if there's not one here, there's going to be one along, one along any moment. I'm still not making much sense, you know. Super hot. Super hot. Even though it's windy. I'm glad it's windy. It doesn't feel so hot when it's like that, does it? That's Dockside over there. So the two hotels are really close together. Whichever one you get, Walgreens is literally just over the road here. Very, very handy. And whatever you need, whether it's like medical, um, Makeup, food, groceries, everything. Yeah. Except Danny and Griot. Well, yeah, they didn't have any the other they day. Might have now. But they've even got souvenirs in there. Mm -hmm. If you want to buy a lanyard and you want you don't want to pay park prices, go to Walgreens. Key rings, towels in there, even. Even like plushies and like toys. And yeah, things. definitely. So if you don't want to pay like Disney prices or park prices for souvenirs for people at home, you know, you can do that in there. There's also an IHOP just over on this side of the road. I can't see it right now. Where that bus is, around there. So if you want a breakfast. Oh, we don't, there it is, you can see it now. We don't eat a lot for breakfast, do we? So it wouldn't be worth us going over there, but if you want a big plateful. The stuff we've got in here for breakfast. Pretty good, isn't it? This morning we picked up another one of those croissants with the uh, omelet, cheese and bacon. Quite nice. We ate that on the run, literally on the run. We've got an idea of what we want to do, haven't we? Yeah. But we're not planning anything because it just never goes to plan, which is fine. City Walk is looking absolutely beautiful this evening. All the boats are running, the water taxis. This is what life's all about. It's what you work hard for, isn't it? Let's walk this way. I got goosebumps, you know, guys. Oh, I feel a bit emotional, oh dear. <laughs> No, nope, I'm going. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Just happy. <sighs> Let's go. This could get messy. I don't know if you guys know the story behind the plane that's here at Margaritaville. So it's called the Hemisphere Dancer. And there's a song about it, a Jimmy Buffett song called Jamaica Mistaker. And basically it's a true story, but he was flying his plane over Jamaica and they were stopping for some fried chicken. And actually, Bono and his family were also in the plane, Bono from U2. 
all of a sudden they started being shot at by um, officials because they thought it was a ganja plane and they were like no 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 we just come for chicken we're on holiday so, that's why it's called yeah. Jamaica Mistaker and that's the actual plane and Jimmy Buffett has donated it to this particular margarita bell so yeah cool. we were looking for the bullet holes but they could even be on the other side or they might have patched them up yeah. but it's such a cool thing and it's such an amazing song go check it out Jimmy Buffett Jamaica Mistaker this is that song that we listen to <laughs> on repeat a few bells, but it's amazing what a few bells can do. <laughs> oh, stop it! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <coughs> oh, is it getting you? It is. It is. Don't lie. And we actually did the like Zeus trolley ride and Cat in the Hat and then we went into the bookshop and we want to pick up a book for our nephew. He's not even born yet. <laughs> not far off there. No, he's not far off, but like we're gonna we're gonna read to him if he ever comes over for a sleepover or for you know, daycare. We're so excited to meet him, aren't we? But yeah, we're gonna get him a Dr. Seuss book so he can corrupt his tiny mind from a young age. Get the weirdness in there. Yeah. Oh I'm sure he'll be already there. Get me to that air con. How can it be so hot at this time of day? Shouldn't the sun be in bed by now? Oh, get me in. Oh, let's just read a book. <laughs> Which one are you going to go for then? Oh, my fan's going. Yeah, one fish, two fish. I mean, there's so many. My book about Christmas. Do they not do the How the Grinch Stole Christmas then? Yeah, they must do. Well, they're, they're really tiny ones. Yeah. Like, t uh, for tiny people. <laughs> How much are they? They're 4 99 This one's got fish. Ah! Is it the same story? I think it is. Maybe it's a bit shorter. Yeah, a bit much different. shorter, because they were like the first five pages I read, wasn't I like it? I these in the fish, though. So we've chosen the the full story. We bought the book and we've sent it to the front of the park for later, pick up later. At the, uh, the new Universal store in City Walk. Yeah, so if they can't send it to your hotel, because like, we're leaving tomorrow, she's like, okay, I'll do it to the front of the park. But we do need to remember to pick it up. How cool is this view along here? The lights are on, I'd like to see it at night here. We tried to do it last night, but it got stormed in, stormed out. We got torrential rain and soaking. My shoes are still wet. Yeah, Scott's are sitting in the window in the hotel room. So Hagrid's is a 70 minute wait. Just passed stuff in the lockers. Bum bags are allowed, so I've got my bum bag on. And the queue is out here. Wow, 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 wow. Got my assistant fan out here. <laughs> He's fanning me while I'm shooting. They've just run an empty train. It's not a good sign. What does that mean? You find that this ride is always down. It seems to break down a lot, doesn't it? I suppose there's lots of different parts that have to work. Personal air conditioning. That's quite a nifty idea, that. It's working. So we've been here an hour already. We're not even inside. The line is not moving. It's moving so slowly. I don't know. Like two or three meters and then stop. Five to eight minutes. I wonder if they're just running one train or something. No idea, but the wait time say ninety. Don't believe that. We've done an hour. We're not even inside. So two hours. Two hours later, we're in this room. An hour and a half in, it went down uh, for about, what would you say, 15, 20 minutes? Uh, this is long, mate. This is not two hours worth of ride. No ride is worth two hours. No ride is worth two hours. It's 70 minutes. Oh. And it, it's just, it's not that there's loads of people. It's just that it was not moving. Like, say we've been stagnant for a long time, then we finally move here and then wait more time. It's just... I don't know if maybe they're using one train or 
What is going on? It's so frustrating as well. We had planned other things after this, but yeah. I think we're just gonna... We were going to do a Velocicoaster, coaster, but I think we've completely given up that and just going to go for some tea and relax because this has been mad. The park's only open for another hour. Yeah. We just need to enjoy ourselves now. <laughs> Thank God for that. I've never been so happy to see daylight again. Yeah. The, <laughs> um, the ride is awesome. It's like, for me, it's the best ride here, I think. Yeah, I agree. Well, when Mummy comes back, we do like the Mummy. Yeah, Mummy's great as well. Oh, the thing is, that queue was not moving. Um, yeah, two hours, and everyone was getting really irritated. Yeah. Including us. Including us, because we were thirsty when we got in the queue. Because, like, you know, if you've got a 70 minute wait, I don't want to have a big drink before. Yeah. So we put the bottle in there. And well, you have to. They, they don't let you on with the cup, do they? No, they don't. And then half, like, half an hour in, we got to the first like water water fountain. I was like, I might even have to have a drink here. And I hate those water fountains. People put their lips on them, and I, like, I can't do it. And I didn't do it because I couldn't force myself to do it. But like, let's get a drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so awful. But we've done it now. It was a great ride. Um, oh, that smelled weird. I'm gonna get some food now and just relax. That first sip is just going to be amazing. What did you get? Great Powerade. Oh, it's that weird smell I don't like. It's good. We're looking really gorgeous along here. I've never seen it at night. Tried to look last night, but obviously we got stuck in the storm. And we met a couple in the queue and they said, oh, we love watching your vlogs, but we, we didn't ask your name. We should have. Yeah, we didn't get a chance. Yeah. No, there was a blonde lady. If you're watching, leave us a comment for your name. Yeah, th thanks for watching as well. Really appreciate you like coming and saying hi. To come to the back of Mythos, the restaurant, and actually the view out here is amazing. I've never been out here before. You can see right across the lake. The breeze is lovely, and then Velocicoaster over here. Wow. Yeah, we're gonna be here for two weeks this time. So, like, we've done well in four days here. We've nearly done everything. I mean, it's nearly half past eight now, so the park's only open for another half hour. Yeah, we're quite hungry, aren't we? Yeah. Hi, can I have a raspberry white chocolate, please? Yeah, it's just got a little cookie from the Dr. Seuss like cookie shop. Six dollars. Yeah. It looked good. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm hungry, so I would have picked up loads of stuff. Them brookies look nice. Yeah. Perhaps I'll try them in September. Making our way out of Ireland for the last time this trip. It's been awesome. Yep. Now playing that song. Send us on our way. That guy had headphones on. Fancy coming and not listening to the music. Yeah. Heathen. <laughs> Uncultured swine. <laughs> Uncultured pig. I think we're gonna be out of luck, but we're gonna try and get in Antofitos. We didn't book because, like, we didn't want it to interrupt what we were doing. We thought we'll go when we're ready. No, yeah, well, it's a good job we didn't because we would have been in that queue probably. Yeah. So, what happened was we went down to the front desk and I asked. Is it okay if we just sit at the bar or do we need a reservation? She goes, no, 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 go ahead, you can sit at the bar. So there's a bar downstairs as we walk in. But also, she said, go upstairs, there's a bar up there and the seats are much comfier and there's no one up here. Like, there's four other people on this bar and we've got these chairs with backs on them. What a great, what a great lady to tell us that. <laughs> I think one thing that we've learned on this trip is if you haven't got a reservation, don't. And you don't mind sitting at the bar. Yeah. For food, like it's, it's a good option. Great, and you can share without feeling a bit weird about not buying two meals. Oh, put it down. <laughs> this is also us giving Anton Hitos a second chance. We came here in 2018, and I didn't enjoy what I had. 
but from the starter. Yeah, I can't remember what we had. I think, did I get a chimichanga? We had a chimichanga and... Burrito? A burrito, probably. And I didn't, I didn't enjoy it. Um, so we're giving it another go. We've gone for fajitas, chicken fajitas for one, and on the starter it's queso fundido. We've had that here before and it's, it's really good. Cool. So here comes the second chance. So one thing I would recommend if you come to Antojitos is not to buy nachos because they come to you with a complimentary bowl of nachos and it's a huge bowl. Look, this is my hand. Because I think we made that mistake before and went for nachos and then these came out as well. And they come with a little salsa. Scotty's margarita is in a beautiful glass. That salsa is so delicious. It's like really cilantro-y. Um, what's cilantro in, in not Spanish? I can't remember the English word for cilantro. It will come to me, I'm sure, at some point. Scott's margarita. I've tasted it. Have you? Yeah. Oh, it's lovely. <laughs> Is it as good as Jimmy's? Uh, no. Oh, I think it's better. Is it just because it's not Jimmy's? It's good. It's lovely. It's quite different. Though. I don't know if there's something else in there. It's kind of sweeter. Yeah. I just said how nice this glass is. I really appreciate when drinks come out like in nice glassware. It's how it should be served in a nice glass. I hate getting like a plastic cup. With an umbrella. Yeah, well, maybe not. Minus the parrot. So here are the chicken fajitas. Um, comes with like guacamole, sour cream, lettuce, and the t just two wraps. This is the, what is it again? Queso fundido. And it comes with little wraps there too. Wanna dig in? So poor Scotty is eating most of it because I've kind of got some anxiety and I'm struggling to eat. It's very, very salty. Everything, isn't it? I mean, that's probably the um, chorizo. Salty. Well, I haven't even tried that. I can't stomach that now. It did take a while to come out to say that. Salty. <laughs> So guys, that's the end of a wonderful trip. We're keeping our voices down because um, it's late. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. We've had the most incredible time, haven't we? Yeah, it's been really good. So, long trip home tomorrow. Couldn't get late checkout, which is annoying because we were told yesterday to go down the morning of and request it. So I requested tonight. I thought, you know, I'll just go down and ask by chance. And he said, oh no, we're already at capacity. I thought, well, I was told that it was the morning off. So if they're going by the rules, I couldn't have been able to do it tonight. I should have had to do it tomorrow. Mm, we just wanted to double check and like he said something different to what they told us the other day. Yeah, and I also said, where can I get a bottle of water? So he was like, there's a vending machine on levels four and level seven. So we stopped at level seven. Vending machine would take card or cash. Go down to level four. Vending machine won't take card or cash. And the shop's shut. So there's nowhere to buy water. And we're both like really thirsty after all the salty food. We've got half a bottle of water. And we filled up our cup before we left. But I really, I feel like guzzling water. But we've only got half of a bottle, so... I'm gonna have to drink busy through the night. Oh, I wait. I ate way too much food. Like, yeah. I'm so full. I couldn't, I couldn't eat anything. I just... I've got anxiety. And it was loud in there. And I just needed to get out. So I'm, I, like... Ed for two people. Oh, I'm so full. <laughs> Sorry. But it's been an amazing trip and I've never cried so much. But mostly happy tears. Thanks for watching you guys. We've met so many wonderful people already, haven't we? Yeah. People we knew and people we didn't know. So it's been awesome. We'll see you in the next one. We'll be back here in September. Later. Bye.